To all my DeFi people out there, there's a new project very similar to Polkadot and Cosmos that I wanna put on your radar today. It's called Bifrost, and they are, quote, the world's first blockchain middleware platform that enables multi-chain technology. In plain English, that means that developers can build their apps in a way that works with a bunch of different blockchains simultaneously. With more and more blockchain networks popping up these days, such a solution is needed more than ever. They've also built several DeFi projects utilizing their platform to demonstrate the power of Bifrost. In this sponsored video, I'm gonna give you the highlights of Bifrost, their ecosystem, and the two tokens involved. I'll also share my personal experience of trying out some of their DeFi products. If that sounds interesting to you, then strap in my friend and let's roll the intro. If we take a step back and look at the blockchain space as a whole, you gotta admit that there's a ton of blockchains out there. And it seems like more and more are coming out each month. They all claim that there's no perfect option out there, so that's why they have to build their own. But that actually makes life more difficult for developers who want to build decentralized apps on top because they have to choose which one to go with and commit to it. But what if no blockchain perfectly fits what they're trying to do? And in an ideal world, they could pick and choose different blockchains for specific use cases. Well, that's the whole philosophy of Bifrost. Instead of building their own blockchain network, they built a platform that sits in the middle and lets developers build on top of existing mm -hmm. protocols. They actually quote, combine multiple blockchain systems into a unified smart contract environment. So developers write their dApps in a slightly different manner and then Bifrost splits them up into smart contracts for each system and translates them into their native forms. To enable all that, Bifrost has its own programming language called mm -hmm. Recipe. It's based on Solidity, but it's super powerful because it supports all the layer one and layer two blockchains out there. So zooming out a bit, we see that Bifrost is competing with other interoperability projects such as Polkadot and Cosmos. This table is a great one that shows how they stack up and how they differ. As you can see, Bifrost's purpose is to combine features from multiple different blockchains. And by doing so, they're the only project that checks all the boxes of supporting transfers, smart contracts, integration with Bitcoin, and a universal programming language. There's also the Bifrost token with ticker symbol BFC. It is the native token of their ecosystem, even though they don't have a blockchain. Instead, builders who want to use Bifrost's platform have to pay with BFC. So that's the primary source of demand for that token. It has a market cap of around $500 million at time of shooting, and it's available on a bunch of popular exchanges like BitHum or Bittrex, and also DEXs like Uniswap and SushiSwap. Now that's Bifrost in a nutshell, but now let's turn to their dApps in their ecosystem. There's two in particular that I wanna focus on, BiFi and BiFi X, because I think they really demonstrate the power and flexibility of the Bifrost platform. Anyways, BiFi was the first dApp in their ecosystem, and it's most similar to Compound Finance. You can lend your tokens and earn interest on them, or you can borrow tokens from the protocol. That's all pretty standard, but the cool part is, is that they run on Ethereum, Bitcoin, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, and Clayton, with other integrations coming real soon, like Polkadot, Polygon, Tron, etc. Did you notice that I said Bitcoin as well? Yep, that's a very unique feature that only they can do with their special Bifrost architecture. They connect to the Bitcoin network directly, so you can lend Bitcoin and borrow some ERC20 token without having to rely on the wrapped Bitcoin token. This reminds me a lot of ThorChain because ThorChain is a DEX that lets you swap between Bitcoin and coins on other chains. But in this case, BiFi is offering what they call native Bitcoin lending. This is very different from those centralized platforms that give you interest on your Bitcoin deposits. Because unlike them, BiFi does not have control of your Bitcoin. They operate in a non-custodial manner. Here is a great diagram that shows you how BiFi's approach simplifies the process when it comes to Bitcoin and DeFi. The next app that they have is called BiFi X, and I've actually tried that one before. It's an automated service that opens leverage positions for you if you want to yield farm or margin trade. It utilizes BiFi's lending pools to get you up to 10x leverage for yield farming and 5x leverage for margin trading, all in a single transaction. Behind the scenes, they are utilizing flash loans, which is 
quite complicated, so I'm not gonna explain it in this video. But basically, they abstract away all the fancy technology so that we can use it with a single click without needing to know how to code all that ourselves. Their earn feature is for yield farmers, while their bet feature is for margin traders. If you open positions for either feature, they let you track each one separately so you can monitor their performance and close them out one by one. It's super clear, simple, and definitely cheaper to do it this way compared to if you executed multiple transactions to build out the same position. Just FYI, when I first tried this out, I tried to do it on the Ethereum network, but that was literally gonna cost me $1,000 in gas fees to do all those flash loans. So instead I switched to the Binance Smart Chain network and that was much, much cheaper. Like only $5 for this massive chain of transactions. That's what I recommend, but then you need to have both BNB and their BiFi token in BEP20 format in order to use it. And on that note, I wanna zoom in on the BiFi token because it's the currency for their DeFi protocols. If you lend, pool, or stake on their platform, you get rewarded with BiFi. In fact, I have accrued some myself for having my two positions open on BiFiX. You can stake BiFi to participate in governance and vote on proposals. And you can also use it to access their DeFi services and products. Like in BiFi X, it costs some BiFi tokens in order to open those leveraged positions. It's not that much that they charge, but you do need some in your wallet beforehand. This token is much smaller than the BFC token because it's only around 15 million in market cap and 63 million fully diluted. And the best place to get it would be on SushiSwap. Now the last important piece of their ecosystem that I wanna spotlight is their Byport wallet. It's a Chrome extension just like MetaMask, but it lets you see all your coins and tokens across various blockchains without having to switch around. They even have a MetaMask support mode that you can toggle, and then you can use all the popular dApps out there with Byport just as if it were a MetaMask wallet. And the last convenient feature is that you can interact with BiFi straight from your wallet to do things like lend coins and earn interest. Pretty neat and definitely start with this wallet if you wanna play around in their ecosystem. We got our overarching platform Bifrost. We got two DeFi products built on top in BiFi and BiFiX. Then we got the Byport wallet that helps you manage all your multi-chain assets and positions easily. But that's not all because this is a young ecosystem that's expanding rapidly. In fact, they just launched a new product called Chain Runner Q a few days ago. It's a DeFi aggregator that reminds me a lot of Yearn Finance. There's also an NFT marketplace coming out in 2022 that will let you buy NFTs with their BFC token or BTC, ETH, BNB, etc. Then there's a product called Buyholder also coming out next year that will let us track all the blockchain and smart contract data going on in Bifrost land. Finally, they just announced their partnership with Reality Magic, which means that they are expanding their ecosystem to include metaverse and game five projects as well. Definitely some exciting things to look forward to. So if you're a fan of DeFi or you strongly believe in a multi-chain future, then definitely go check them out using my links down below. If you wanna use their dApps, I recommend using non-Ethereum chains to dramatically reduce the gas fees. And let me know if you have any questions at all. I'll try my best to answer all of them. I'm Kevin from Coinsider. I can't wait to see you in the next one and cheers.